Okay, we're looking at the SPSS um, interface. And you'll notice that we can compare an SPSS software package interface with an Excel interface, because you'll notice that if I go over to this view, you're pretty familiar with this view. This is pretty much what you might find using an Excel uh, spreadsheet. But you'll notice there are two views available to you using SPSS. There is a data view and a variable view. And of course, we have previously looked at the fact that we were looking at a questionnaire study designed to investigate how students at the University of Portsmouth use a university gym. And there were 12 questions in the questionnaire. And you will notice that there are 12 individual variables that we are looking at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Forget the thirteenth one. And they correspond to each question in the questionnaire. Now you'll notice that the name column is rather brief, reduced, but you'll notice that it's possible to uh, amplify the name column. Uh, and we do that in the label column. So whereas this is very brief, gender, Label references, are you male or female? This is a very brief age. Label references, how old are you in years, etc., etc. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at some tests and we're going to just see how well we, we do. Now, the important thing with regard to these tests is that you have to be aware of basic navigation. So look at all these names at the very top, file, edit, View, data, transform, analyze, graphs, utilities, extensions, windows, help. You'll have to become reasonably familiar with the navigational pathways of SPSS. And you can only do that by trial and error, by actually opening up SPSS yourself and using it. So let's have a look. What if I wanted to generate a frequency table? Okay, this, this is the pathway. I go to analyze. I go to descriptive statistics, I go to frequencies, and then I'm going to focus on reasons for visiting. I'm going to highlight what best describes your main reasons for visiting the gym. Then I'm going to introduce that into the variable column. And then I'm going to hit OK. And if we look at the second screen, you'll see that I've generated a frequency table. What best describes your main reason for going to the gym? So we have 10% uh, of the gym visitors go to relax, 34.4 go to maintain or improve fitness, 36.7 go to lose weight, 18.9 go to build strength etc etc all right so let's let's go back and we're now going to look at how we might generate a bar chart so let's come up here to graphs chart builder no that's not where i want to go let's just forget that one let's come up here to graphs Let's go down to Legacy Dialog, to Bar. And we're going to go with Simple. And we're going to put I'll make the screen a bit bigger and you should be able to notice the following that we have a bar chart so let's remind ourselves this is the count on the left these are the different um, reasons relaxation maintain or improve fitness lose weight build strength Okay, 
So let's just close that one down. All right, we'll go back. Let's generate a pie chart. So we'll come up to graphs. We'll come down to legacy. We're going to come down to pi. And you'll notice we have a pie chart. What best describes your main reasons for going to the gym? Okay. So let's continue. Now we're going to generate a histogram. So we'll come up to Okay, so I've actually compared two. I've compared what best describes your main reason for going to the gym, and then I'm gonna compare it with how old are you. Let's see how that works out. Um, that's not very clear, okay. We have an age here, and then we have the main reasons for going to the gym. I think I'll try and improve that. I mean, we can make some sense of it, we have different ages here and we have the main reasons for going to the gym. So different ages here and the main reasons for going to the gym. All right.